Okay then, so moving on to making the bellows part of this uh, miniature steam whistle that I'm doing. I'm actually experimenting uh, at this point to see how small I can actually go uh, so, so as to get to the smallest bellows that will work properly. Uh, at the moment, I'm making... I mean, you can make them any size you want, these bellows, and you can make the whistles any size you want. I'm just trying to make them in, in a miniature version. And what I'm doing at the moment... Uh, to get my thickness up, to be able to have a reasonable reasonable amount of material to glue my bellow material to, I'm using plywood, 10mm uh, plywood. I'm joining two pieces together, but the, the, the piece that I'm joining to it, I'm uh, cutting out with a fret saw. A box section, if you like. Um, and that cavity is there to enable me to get more air into my bellow. So if I used a piece of material three quarter thick, just plain material, it's not leaving me, when being small, it's not leaving me much to be pumping the air. Right, so my sizes for this, at the moment they're four and a half, by eight and a half long and I am experimenting doing some a fraction wider and a, and a lot smaller in length we'll get to that later but just for the moment we'll concentrate on this on this uh, approach this size I'm going to glue these together and I shall also pin them with some uh, suitable sized panel pin. This will, when it's joined together, will fit like that. The hinge will be there. Like so. At the bottom, on the bottom plate, you've got to put a valve. So, you've got to drill some holes into the bottom and then I'll explain later on how I made the valve to let the air in and let the air in and out uh, right going to these holes then because I've made mine out of plywood and I suppose any wood will splinter once you drill it what I'm doing is I've marked, marked my holes off at the appropriate size equally spaced and then I've drilled a 3 16 or thereabouts, doesn't really matter, just a small drill, something perhaps that size. Just drill through all the holes to mark, to give you your reference points where they're going to be. Then I've took a piece of scrap wood and I've clamped it. Over the holes and square with the with the square with the uh, actual piece of wood, and then where my three sixteenths holes come through, I've drilled straight through this scrap piece of wood. So now I've got four holes coming through this scrap piece of wood to tell me where my holes are going to be. Then I've cut another scrap. Another piece of scrap piece of wood is going to go on the other side. Then like that. So the reason you've drilled these little holes through is to tell you where your holes are going to be. You can then take it to your drill and drill straight through all the lot. I ain't actually quite come straight through. I've probably gone down to there. You can drill through with your correct size drill. Then that avoids your wood splintering with it being a, a large drill it'll stop your wood splintering and give you a nice finish on your on your board like so you can then proceed to gluing all this together
So I'm just going to clamp them together now. Do the same with the with the other piece, and uh, let that set overnight. Moving on then is the one-way valve. So you can choose wherever you like in this cavity to put your one-way valve, but I'm, I'm keeping it away from the top area. Look, I'm making two different sizes here in front of your ear, so I'm just going to concentrate on, on this size here. What I'm doing, I'm experimenting and making smaller ones and smaller ones to see the effect it has on sound. So we'll just concentrate on this size for the moment. Um, where did I get to? One way valve, right. So for my bellows, I'm using, well, it's a bit of old seat covering off, off my driving truck seat, which I use on model engineering track. It's a bit of faux leather or vinyl. So you can use anything really for the valve that's that's more or less airtight. You could use a, a strong plastic or any anything like that that's, that's not going to let air permeate, permeate through it uh, quickly. For this smaller one I've just put four quarter inch diameter holes in. And what I've got to do then, I've cut a piece of vinyl or faux leather or plastic, whatever you want, and I'm going to glue that over them holes then, and I'm going to glue it um, with a piece of wood to support it. Right then, so I've cut two little strips of wood, so they're roughly 10mm by... 75 mil mine and they're only two millimeter thick and I'm going to stick it over that and I'm going to put this wood on just to help and support that that so it stays down so where my holes are finished I've just made a little pencil mark so I know not to put my wood any further up than that pencil mark and cover me holes. And what I'm using, I'm just using woodworking glue. Right, so I'm going to stick this to that now. So I'm just going to put a, a little bit of glue across that. And I'm not putting any on the sides because that's where the air is going to go in. And I'm going to stick that over them holes like so. Then I'm going to put a run of glue down this, these little supporting strips of wood. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to stick them over that the edge of that material, making sure I don't cover the holes up. And I'll put a weight on that when I've finished uh, going through this video, this little part, just to just to weigh it down. So that'll let air in but not let air back through. Okay. For these bellows to be able to spring back, you've got to obviously put a spring in. So I've chose this spring here. It's only one I'd got on stock, to be honest. And it's two inch, it's two inch long by three quarter diameter. And up near the, up near the, uh, whistle holes that's where that spring's going to sit it's going to sit on that side and then equivalent on that side and I'm not sure how, fast, how I'm fastening that just at the moment but right so going on to the bellows cloth or material whatever you want to call it to get your correct measurement for you to cut your cloth out to this is how I've done it. I've put my bellows in the position when they're fully open under spring pressure. Like so. And then when I put the spring in, I measured from here to here and I think it was five inches. 
So I put me 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 frame onto the cloth and I've marked up it on both sides and on the bunch. Then I've measured a square out five inch from this point where this where this is. So imagine that that's just going to turn over onto that now at five inch. Got that? And then we're just going to do the same on the other side, roll it over and where that five inch mark is again mark off where bellows are when they fully open under spring pressure and don't forget to leave a piece where it finishes at the end here just leave a little flap over, it doesn't matter how much because you're going to flap that back over onto hinge to give it extra strength you can leave it as long as you want, as long as you leave a, a bit of a flap to, to flap over. I'm going to cut this spare bit of cloth out, or this bit bit that's spare from when I've cut that out. I've measured round that cloth there, so I'm going to cut this out and then we'll stick that on. I'm just putting this little clamp on to hold them together. So there are the holes where my whistles are fitting, there's my bellows, uh, my air intake. To go into my bellows. I've cut this little bit of cloth out and I'm going to stick that cloth now across there and I'm going to let that set overnight with a, with a weight on it. Then once that's set I can then cut the rest of the bellows cloth out to the shape, fit the spring and uh, fasten the bellows cloth on to the outside of the framework and that's what we'll do next but before that I'm just going to fasten this this hinge on and you don't want to put glue too much glue on on this to, to go across the joint you just you want the glue to be in the middle of each piece of frame each side of the frame else it'll stick the frame together Right, so basically this is going to act as a hinge and let that set overnight.